after J.J. Abrams' first Star Trek, the Lego movie, and now this new Ghostbusters, I really need to lower my prejudgment of movies before I see them. I really do. Ghostbusters 2016 is basically a reboot of the original 1984 film, which as I've said in my review for that movie, is my favorite comedy of all time. Huh? So obviously there's going to be a lot of skepticism with this new movie yeah? to basically relaunch my favorite comedy of all time with a new cast, a different director, just basically it's a reboot. It stars Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, and Chris Hemsworth and is directed by Paul Feig and basically involves four women who come together who try to save New York from a ghost paradox. So this might possibly be the most hated movie in history before it's even come out and I don't blame people because really we got two really awful trailers. The marketing campaign was ass and the way Paul Feig and Melissa McCarthy were handling the backlash from fans was not the right way to go. You don't want to insult the people you're trying to win over. You want to win them over. Now, granted, there were some sexist douchebags out there that, yeah, those people deserve to get called out on. But to just assume that everybody hates this movie before seeing it just because it's women is false. Because the reason I hated it before seeing it, it just didn't look funny. The trailers did not make me laugh once. So I went into this very skeptic, uh, and I actually laughed. Yeah, I actually like this movie. Uh, and I, as I've said before, I'm a giant Ghostbusters fan. Uh, I love, love the first movie. Uh, but this one I really like because it has somewhat of a different plot. It's sort of like The Force Awakens, where... Yeah, there are similar scenarios to the original, but if you really look hard, you can tell that it is overall kind of different. And one thing I was really worried about was that all the characters in this movie were just going to be female versions of the characters from the first movie, which I'm glad they aren't. They're actually different characters, and they have really great dynamics. Obviously, Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy work very well because they've worked with Paul Feig already in Bridesmaids, and... Melissa McCarthy's been working with Paul Feig in every one of his movies. So those two have a good dynamic. Leslie Jones, I actually liked for most of the part. Uh, there are parts where she does do the stereotypical loud black woman, which I felt like, honestly, this movie's a little smarter to where it didn't need to rely on that, but that's just me. But my favorite had to be Kate McKinnon. For reasons I just really can't explain. Her performance in this movie is just so weird and bizarre, but she made me laugh. Kate McKinnon really made me laugh. And once again, the dynamic between all of them did work very well. And one other person that did make me laugh was Chris Hemsworth as their idiot secretary, who basically is pretty much the dumb blonde equivalent, but as a dude, which... To be honest, it's kind of a nice change of pace because we're so familiar with the dumb blonde stereotype as a woman. It is kind of funny and refreshing to see the dumb blonde be a dude. Although, when I say dumb, like, this character here is retarded. He, in this movie, has an IQ of maybe 40. But for some reason, he just made me laugh. Probably because, unlike his younger brother, Chris Hemsworth has real charisma and has a nice charm to him, and the only way this character even gets by through anything is because he looks good. There were some problems with this movie. I mean, one thing, even though I said it's funny, it's not matching the comedy of the original Ghostbusters. And to be honest, I was kind of at the point where I'm like, okay, it's never going to top the original, so I'll just accept it for what it is. But the other problems I had with the movie are mainly when they have to make nods to the original. Uh, there are a few moments in this movie, you've seen in the trailer, where they have characters from the original, like they have uh, Slimer, and they have a State Puff Marshmallow Man balloon, which I really feel like in the first half of this movie, it did a real good job at trying to stand on its own and come up with different things that when you throw in Slimer and State Puff, uh, it just really feels out of place and forceful. And one thing I can say in this movie that I absolutely despised, and it was one of the things I was worried about in this movie, 
were the cameos by the original cast members. They were just painful to watch. And the worst, I think, is probably Bill Murray. I won't say what he does in the movie, but let me just say that his cameo extended to more than just a cameo. Like, it almost could have been a supporting role, which really is not good at all. Like, I thought the cameos were just kind of forced in. Probably the best one is Harold Ramis. Yes, even in death, Harold Ramis makes a cameo in this movie. But I feel like you really need to know Ghostbusters in order to catch that cameo. So, in the end, while nowhere, nowhere near as good as the original Ghostbusters at all, I was really relieved to find that I did like this movie, and I laughed at it. The dynamic between your leads works. Some of the special effects are actually a lot better than they looked in the trailer, and it's more action-packed. The second half, I will admit, is not as strong as the first half, but I actually still enjoyed it. And on the whole, I'd say it's a good movie. It's just not a great movie. You were never going to top the original Ghostbusters, but this movie at least tried. And I really, really feel bad for just coming down on this movie so hard before even seeing it. So I'm just so relieved that this is good. And... Unless something else pops up in the air, this could make my slot for the surprise of 2016. So, let's just see what happens. But yeah, in the end, good but not great. And that's my review for Ghostbusters 2016. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of this new Ghostbusters movie, if and when you've seen it. And as always, this is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one.